Hi everyone, I'm going to make a, an art journal page in my dictionary art journal and before I start someone asked me how I make my uh, pages sturdy and not wrinkled and curvy so I'm just using a white plain white glue but what I'm doing and I will switch it let's see here I've got what I'm doing I am going to glue three pages together and what I'm doing is I'm taking a sprung, sponge brush now uh, there are uh, some downsides for this with paint because it absorbs most of the paint but for glue it's great because I can now put it on my page without having puddles and I will have an even spread of uh, glue and I keep repeating to make sure everything is covered and I'm dragging it all over the page now I'm uh, putting down this page and now I will take a plastic card and it's better to have some kind of plastic or parchment paper underneath because now I'm going to scrap it from the inside towards the outside so if there is any glue excess it will uh, go here <laughs> now I'm sure everything is stuck down and I don't have air bubbles so these are uh, two pages and now I'm going to glue down the third the third one so uh, it will be nice thick and sturdy for my project now it depends all, uh, on the quality of the paper there are no exact rules for it I've uh, encountered <laughs> encyclopedias and dictionaries that had thick paper and uh, ones that had thin paper so just experiment uh, glue down too if it's a uh, working for you great if it's not add another one in this dictionary three is making me a, a great uh, thing to work on so here is the three pages and of course this needs to dry so uh, back to uh, here where I'm going to make a collage I haven't done a collage in a while and I really uh, I really want to use all my painty papers so I've raided my stash and took out uh, mostly blue uh, papers for the background and uh, I've got again dictionary page with the excess paint book page with excess paint something that I've used for uh, some kind of journal like three years ago I uh, had left one page wipeout uh, I've got, this I got from happy mail another uh, dictionary page with paint daily paper with wipe up paint some um, experiment i've done with spreading paint by folding and scrapping it and then i've stamped it so i've got quite a lot of uh, things to play with here and i'm gonna start uh, do i want to tear it or uh, cut it i'm gonna cut it this time no tearing I'm not going for a symmetrical or a, anything just a, I'm gonna put a pieces on my page I'm not going to cover everything because I know that I'm a, going to make on top of it I want some kind of Sun here so I don't have to cover uh, everything I just need 
interest as a background to frame my son. So just cutting away. I don't want similar uh, pieces and I'm also a little bit doing an overlap again for the interest and I find it uh, easier when I'm doing uh, collages that to use uh, from the same piece of paper in several places on top of my page so if I've got here I'll, I've put another one here it's just easier on the eye that you have same a uh, pattern uh, same um, uh, page <laughs> paint the page in several places so here is another piece And I'm going to take from this one again at least uh, three uh, pieces from each uh, page that I'm going to use. helping the paper get into the crease here now in terms of preparing a, any kind of book uh, for to be an art journal there are many videos out there uh, great videos on how to do it and uh, many uh, ways to do it and I really uh, am no expert about it. Most of the techniques are calling for removing part of the pages. And I've done it before in other uh, books, but when I started this dictionary, I've decided that I am not going to do it. The signatures here were uh, difficult to see which uh, play which page to take out so I left it uh, as is and decided that I am just going not going to make a bulky uh, art journal so I hope it will work for me there are no guarantees and just uh, an experience uh, I've uh, transformed uh, other uh, books and sometimes it worked, sometimes it, it didn't. It really depends on the quality of the paper, the quality of the signatures. There are many variations and because I'm not taking it too seriously, I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> So I don't have any more uh, explanations about how to transform any book to an art journal. So I'm doing the perimeter of <laughs> this uh, double spread and just alternating between the pieces I have I think it's more interesting this, that way now you don't have to use painty paper, you can use scrapbook paper, uh, wrapping uh, paper, whatever you've got. Nope. 
I'll trim the excess later. What's sticking out of the page. Right now I just want to lay down my background. I'm just cutting pieces that I think will work. Again, there are there is no no uh, explanation what I decide <laughs> to use each time. I want variations uh, in the shapes and also in the colors that I've got and each one of these uh, papers if I think is not interesting enough when it's dry I can uh, always add some stamping to make it more interesting so right now it really doesn't matter Sometimes I've got an air bubble and I just flatten it with my finger. Let's see, just a little bit more here and I need more here because I don't know how far my uh, sun is going to reach I also uh, took a lot of uh, yellows, uh, orange and red uh, painting papers for my stash that I, I, I'm going to use to make the sun. Just one more piece here and I think I'm finished with the background so let's see I really like this page with the stamp so I'm thinking once it's dry I'm going to go over the other pieces and just stamp away so I think now and not just another piece here. You can never know. Better safe than sorry when I'm going to put the pieces uh, of my son.
kind of boring watching me glue down pieces of paper but what can one do I don't know how to do the fast forward I don't know how to edit <laughs> videos so you're stuck with me or not you can always <laughs> move forward Okay, now I'm satisfied. My son, I want her like this. So now I just want it to dry. I want to add some stamping and then I'm going for the sun. I'll be back. I'm back. So everything is dry. I've stamped this I stamp uh, randomly in several places. I think it brought everything together and I'm going to work on my sun. Now I'm moving this aside and here are the uh, what I've took from my stash and uh, this is a boring uh, scrapbook paper that I just added uh, some paint to make it more interesting uh, wrapping paper uh, painty paper some uh, original page that didn't uh, work for me and I covered it and just smeared paint a uh, daily paper with excess paint and some stamping more daily paper with excess paint and stamping and this is I think it was uh, something like the jelly uh, jelly print but that didn't go well and I again stamped and added uh, interest excess paint with more stamping again daily paper <laughs> and excess paint and more stamping a uh, scrapbook paper that I didn't like all this yellow so I added the stamping uh, here so I want some quirky sun and I don't want a symmetrical uh, circle. I just want something interesting, worthy, and starting like this. This can be a disaster. It's just some kind of uh, idea I had, and I don't want, don't know if it will work, and. Now I want to cut a bigger piece. Let's see. And I don't want it to be even. I want uh, in several places that it will be a more thick and several places thinner like I'll even move it to one side so going to the next uh, next one let's see yeah this one so uh, as you can see I'm a uh, cutting it very freely there is no guidelines if you want symmetric you can just take a compass and start making bigger and bigger circles you don't have to do it like I'm doing it and I'm trimming if I think it's just too much Okay, it's starting to take shape. Do I want this or this? Let's take this one. And what will be more interesting? I don't know. 
let's go with this if I won't like it I'll change it for now I'm just holding it uh, the layers in place when I'll finish uh, cutting all the layers I'll glue them down This one starting to be hard to hold it. If I have a uh, straight lines, I will trim it later. Right now, I'm trying to just take a piece out of this paper. Don't want to use this. Don't know about this one. I'm just taking uh, this to see. You know, I still want a little bit larger sun for this page. So at least one or two more layers. So I don't want to use these two. And let's see. I'm going to use this one. And just so it will be easier on me, I'm going to take a permanent marker and roughly Sketch a circle. Yeah. Now cutting it. Now that I see it, I'm thinking I'm going to use the red a permanent marker on the edges of every piece just to give more definition to the layers of my sun. Okay, moving this aside and just one more. So this is it, that's my son. And now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to glue all the pieces together. And I'm going to go over the edges of each one of the piece with the red permanent marker. Here it is, here is my son. So, I'll be back once everything is in place. I'm back, here is my son. I really am pleased with what uh, happened here. Uh, individually, each page is kind of, I don't know, boring, but put together, it uh, brought some nice effect. So now I, the only thing I have a problem is this turned out quite thick and I have the crease here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it here and glue this piece here and this piece, piece here and then we'll continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So cut it and glued it uh, to these two pages and it's uh, good that it's only in our journal but 
I am quite satisfied with the result, although I needed to uh, cut my son. Now I want to lighten uh, a little bit uh, the page and I want to add uh, rays to the sun. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, page. I've already cut some. I just want to show you how I've done it. I'm just uh, folding it like this and again freehand, but I'll uh, show you the shape so you can see like this, something like this. And that's how I'm going to do the rays uh, for my son. And I'm going to cut more uh, and glue them and then I'll be back. I'm back so my rays are glued down I went with the permanent marker uh, <clears throat> over the edges and just added here the word simpl simplicity and went with the permanent marker uh, over the edges again just to keep everything uh, similar and uh, coherent <laughs> so this is my page I had quite fun uh, with all this paper probably will do a moon in the <laughs> near future in the same technique so this is it for a uh, this original page I hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now